day to rejoice in the Lord, and because the Bible says to rejoice in the Lord, and again I say rejoice, and rejoice in the Lord always. So that's what I'm about today. Uh, I represent the city of Jerusalem through music, and I'm here today to bring a blessing from Jerusalem. Very soon I'm going to be going back there to be a blessing there. The Bible says to comfort ye, comfort ye my people, Isaiah 40 says that. And also I'm going to take you with me, as you know, I know you, you brought me here. I'm going to take you with me to Jerusalem as I go. I'm going to be very special occasions there. I'm going to, uh, when I get there, it's going to be the Memorial Day, just like we have your Memorial Day for all the pe uh, people that have given their lives for that nation. And uh, I think it goes beyond just soldiers. It goes people that have really blessed Israel this, uh, throughout the years, and even people that are continually blessing Israel. And then we're going to go into the Independence Day, just like we have Fourth of July here. They have a, well, it's not the Fourth of July, but it's, it's a day that Israel became an independent state to the glory of the Lord. That, that's to tell you that the Messiah is not too far away. Amen. You know? Because after 2,000 years, Israel became a state again. Something to rejoice about. And something to bless the Lord for and to bless the people over there. And also, during that time, we're going to celebrate Yom Yerushalayim, which means the Jerusalem Day. This is the day that uh, Jerusalem was unified as to one city. And we're going to be celebrating the 50th anniversary, the which, you know, 50 in the Bible is the year of Jubilee. So we're just expecting mighty outpourings. And talking about outpourings, the Bible is also going to be there for the day of Pentecost. And we love the day of Pentecost. That's where the Holy Spirit was poured out. That was the promise of the Father to his people. And so we're, I'm going to be celebrating that. We're going to be absorbing the feast, just like uh, Brother Bruce here has. Uh, he he uh, Celebrates all the feasts is so important to bless Israel, to observe the Bible as it's written, and to partake of the blessings. Now, uh, I always started, uh, started my ministry with the blowing of the shofar, and I'm going to do that right now because it's important. You know that in the Bible, God himself was the first one that blew the shofar, and we know what happened at Jericho when Joshua says, okay, I love kids, so don't worry about it. Don't, don't, go, don't, get, don't get distracted. Anyway, uh, he blew that shofar and then the walls came down. So we just believe that that happens today. Any walls that are holding things back that rightfully belong to the people of God, we just pronounce them brought down, cast down, broken down in the presence of the Lord. And then we know at the end of time that the Lord Yeshua, that's what I like to call him, uh, Jesus is going to come down at the sound of the trumpet. So I always like to prepare people for that moment. That will be a moment, and if you're not ready, this is the time. Now is the day of salvation. Receive him into your life. He's your savior. He came to give you life and life everlasting. So I'm going to play this horn, this shofar, this jubilee liberating sound, and I want you to receive it in the name of Yeshua. Amen. <laughs> God. Hallelujah. I love that. Anyway, I might play that later, but we'll see. But anyway, the Lord put on my heart just to announce to you that there, to, he has taken off all limits. In him, there is no limits. We limit ourselves. He has taken off all the limits. Now, that doesn't mean we can sin. Sin is never allowed. That's why he put all those commandments. So, but if you're walking in the spirit, you should not fulfill the lust of the flesh. So the connection here is to walk in the spirit, to realize, because the spirit will never lead you into sin. And when you feel yourself to overflowing in him, it's going to be a blessed time. So that's what I want to pronounce to you today, that all limits have been taken off of you. You know, the first Adam came into the world, and he was perfect before God. He had no sin. But he fell into sin. So then the second Adam came. Hallelujah. That's Amen. Jesus. Hallelujah. That's right. And we love that Ben Adam, son of Adam. Uh, he came as a second Adam to set us free, to take off all the limits. Hallelujah. That means, I, I want you to receive that. This is not just a, f a fancy phrase. 
I want you, that's a word from heaven today for you. A rhema word for this community. All limits have been taken off. And I just want to read a little bit here in Romans 8. It says, there is therefore no condemnation. Because condemnation is what keeps us from God. That's what kept Adam out of the Garden of Eden. But no, we're, that, that's been broken. The wall of partition has been torn apart. Amen. Hallelujah. I want to hear so much rejoicing over that. Hallelujah. So, but the key is to those that walk not after the flesh, but in the spirit. But he's provided, like I said, the Holy Spirit. And he's available to us. And I know Brother Bruce loves the Holy Spirit. That's what I love about him. He's, he's just a lover of the Holy Spirit. Because with the Holy Spirit, there's no, there's no limitations. All limitations have been taken off. It's just like when the Lord was at when the Genesis, the Spirit was brooding over the earth. And that's through that Spirit of God, He created everything. And He created us, His supreme creation. That's you. That's you. That's everybody in here. Nobody's left out from little to big. You all were included. I want you to get that in your heart today. Because there's mighty things we need to do. We've been called for such a time as this. And this is the day the Lord has made. And we will rejoice and be glad in it. So hallelujah, I'm going to play a song. And I just want you to get happy. Where's my dancer? <laughs> I'm going to put you to work early. <laughs> uh, I'm going to, I'm going to feel, I just feel like playing a, a song I played the other night. If you missed the other night, well, I'll forgive you because I have to. But don't, don't miss any special services that, that are on this, 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 uh, in this nice, great place that the Lord has raised up here in Abilene, the well-watered place. Hallelujah. So we're going to keep watering, watering to overflowing. Hallelujah. We're not going to let it stop. Because you know, Yeshua said, out of my belly, out of your bellies shall flow rivers of living water. Hallelujah. And you got those rivers without, within you. So hallelujah, don't hold back. Let it rip. Hallelujah. <laughs> How about that? You like that? <laughs> just don't hold back. I'm just, I'm just trying to motivate you. And I'm trying to find my song too. So this is good. <laughs> so let me, let me find it real quick. Because this is going to be powerful. This is going to be a powerful service. The Lord is not holding anything back from you. You just better let it rip. Just, you know, uh, this is the way walk ye therein. You know, Yeshua said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Find him. Find the way to your life. And he's going to give you everything. Because we have lots to do. And it's powerful. You know, we, we're, you know, we're contagious. When people see us like, man, why are you so happy? Why are you like... Yeah, they need that. They need what the Lord came to give uh, them through us. We're, we're the channel now. Now, we are the body of Christ, the Bible says. Now, Amen. we, you, are the body of Christ. Are, now. Get it? Get it? Amen. I don't want anybody to leave here today not knowing that they are the continuation of the work of Jesus. The multitudes are going to come, right, brother? Amen. Multitudes. He's already breaking multitudes. This guy's breaking records. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm really impressed with this brother. He's, he's like breaking all records. Hallelujah. I love that. I love that. So continue, brother. You're, you're in the right path. You got the right people. You know, it reminds me like a small group here. Like, you know, it's like David's mighty men. They started like, you know, they weren't too great, but he raised them up and that's what you're doing. <laughs> so here we go. You ready, Miss Dancer? Miss Claudia? Yeah, yeah. She's, she'll follow her. Yeah, she's, she's, uh, she'll give you more life. This will give you life. If you need life, start dancing. Here we go. This is called Mashiach. We're just pronouncing the coming of the Lord. He already came once and he's coming again and we're rejoicing because it says, I believe in the perfect faith and the coming of the Messiah and I need my bow. Hallelujah. Here it is. Glory. Oh yeah. All children, you got to come. It's required. Now. <laughs> and that's all of you because you're all children. I mean, I hope you're children. I hope you're wearing hats to an egg or something. I don't know. Okay, here we go. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. That's not... Okay, here we go. Bless the Lord.
That was, was good. good. Okay, the Congo way. Uh, I think if you no, 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 time, no, there's no timeouts yet. Okay, but because I want you to, man, this is a special time. This is a special time. Not only to rejoice, but we are living in very special times. Okay, I'll give you about a five-second break, but <laughs> maybe a little bit longer. But let me talk a little bit, just get some air or something. I want you to come back with more energy. No, we're living in very special times. As I was uh, kind of mentioning, you know, I was saying this Friday, and we're, you know, the Lord has had mercy on the whole world. I mean, he had it through Yeshua when he brought sent the whole world. He so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. His, him, his only son, would you imagine that? Wow. Beyond, it was up beyond belief what he did. But even in this time, every day is special. But in this time, we know in this nation he's had mercy on us. We have a new administration that loves Israel, that blesses Israel, that is on the side of Israel. Hallelujah. Man, I could not, be, you know, I was praying so hard that we didn't have the other candidates. And God, wow, <laughs> that would have been too bad. We're not going to mention any names. But, but when that happened, I was like, it happened, they announced it like at 3 in the morning. And I was stayed up like, God, I got to see this. And I got, man, and then when, once it happened, I was like, I got to be there. 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 And one way or another, I got to be there. So, but the Lord, he honored me. He, he, he allowed me. I made plans to go. I got reservations, got a hotel. And then I said, no, just the door, he opened the doors for me to minister this violin in that occasion. That is powerful. That just shows me how important, it's not, it's the calling on my life. It's not me. I've just chosen to say yes. And that's what he's telling you today. Say yes to me. I've taken off all the limits. I, you're my supreme creation. You know, he made all the earth, all the heavens and all the earth. And on the last day, before, after he finished, he made you. He made man. Ish. That's the Hebrew word for man. Anyway, he made you. And it's powerful. So anyway, and he's, he has a calling on your life. Like, he, like that, that scripture in, in, in Esther, so powerful. For such a time as this. You're, a, you're living here for such a time. You're not a mistake. You're not a mistake. You think a man can give life to man? No. Only he gives life. Hope for life. I love that. Chaim. Chaim. My butt buckle here. Chaim. <laughs> Anyway, it's everywhere. Anyway, listen. He created you for special occasion. Well, anyway, so at this time, it was so powerful. I had to go. I had to be there. But I was trying to say that, that Israel is so important to him. Because that's where, you know, Israel is like the prophetic time clock of what's going on. And, we, you know, he's trying to do everything to get people's attention, to focus on Israel, to bless Israel, to pray for the peace of Jerusalem, to be involved get on the right side because if you're on the wrong side you get total destruction there no matter what what you think or my, I might think it's the wrong side so anyway I was so blessed that he allowed the sound of Jerusalem to be in that inauguration ceremony in that inauguration activities in that inauguration day for this nation which you live in hallelujah you can't know it's just we got to give glory to God give him glory that that you know, there was other people there. There was some people from the Knesset and other people there. But, you know, through music, this was the sound. He does things through sound. And I just love it. So my mission is not over. Not even close. I got lots of places to go. <laughs> I got lots of things to do. I got lots of things to do, and so do you. I mean, this, it's, this is not just for me. You got there's much to be done. Much to be done. Whatever he's given you to do, just be seeking, Lord, what can I do for you today? What can I do? What can I do? Because you've taken off all the limits. Remember, that's a message from God today to you. He's taken off all limits. All limits are gone. Are gone. We've passed over to the other side. Amen. I mean, you can walk on water if you have to. If you have to. If you have to. If you, you know, it's happened. It happened. You're going to raise the dead. Whatever. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to say that. Hey. Say that. Hey. <laughs> That'll liberate you. Just like, hey. Just like, just like, hey. Just like, wow, I'm free, man. Like, whoo. You know, we get crazy for the Lord. I love it. Come on. Now, where's my dancers? I want that time to do. You know, dancing, the dancers, that's like spiritual warfare too, man. You get into that groove, man. Those, those you, things are being broken down. So you get into that dance. You know, even whatever. You can just tap the toe or whatever. Come on. Come on.
Come on, Tyler, get the people ready. Now, this song I'm going to play is a song with melodies of Jerusalem. You know, I love to play this song. When I play in Jerusalem, the people go crazy. They go wild. You know, like, wow. <laughs> they go, they, and they start dancing and singing and praising, and God is inhabiting their praises. Hallelujah. We love that. And he's going to inhabit your praises as you minister to him in thanksgiving and, gr and gratitude for everything he's done. Hallelujah. I think we're getting it ready. So this song talks about when all the exiles are going to return back to Jerusalem, back to Jerusalem. And you're included. You can come. You're welcome there. Hallelujah. Here we go. Get happy.
Hallelujah. Here goes one more. Don't go away yet. The word shall come out of Zion. There's a blessing out of there's a blessing out of Zion. Receive it. Hallelujah. Here we go.
Have a seat, you dancers. Give a, give a clap to the dancers. I love it. I love it. I love this rejoicing. It breaks every chain. Because you know what? The enemy would like us just to be sad and depressed and cast down. Oh, no. He says, I am the resurrection and I am the life. Hallelujah. Say it with me. He said, he is the resurrection and he is the life. And he lives in me. Hallelujah. So you, so you are the resurrection and the life. Hallelujah. You got resurrection life in you. Nothing can hold you back. But the key is, like I said, you have to be in him. Because some people they think they can do it on their own. No. <laughs> the minute you do it on your own, you're gone. You're lost. You're, you're nada. <laughs> you're, 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 you're nothing. So, but the key is, you know, to them that walk in the spirit. Walk in that spirit. You provided there's nothing better. We've all lived a few years. You know, we've, we've had our errors. We've done some dumb things. I know I have. <laughs> because we weren't in him. But he is a game changer. Hallelujah. He's that game changer. He's that fourth man, you know, on that, you know, that track, you know, the relay, you know, we put the fourth man there. But also in the book of Daniel, he was the fourth man. <laughs> he got that baton and he took it all the way. He, he took it away for you, for you, and he lives in you. And if nothing else, just say Yeshua or Jesus if you don't know. Because that name is enough, name above every name. And it says in Revelation, when you say that name, you're just throwing the whole word of God at them. Because he is the word of God. The word become flesh. Hallelujah. Well, the Lord loves you today. He's just giving you some good downloads today. I'm just telling you. Man, I wish I was sitting with you. Well, I am. Well, I'm, I'm just blessed. I'm just blessed. I'm just telling you. I'm blessed. And I'm here to be a blessing to you. So that you can be a blessing everywhere you go. The Lord loves you with an everlasting love. And that means it's not going to stop. Even if you can stop following him, he's still going to love you. But his will is you never stop following him. Just stay in his way. Stay in his pathways because he loves you. Amen? Now, I'm going to play this song. Now, by the way, all the music I play has been recorded in Israel. It's powerful. Before I go to record, I always spend close to a month in Israel just taking it all in. Taking it all in. And then I walk into a studio, and it's a Jewish uh, recording studio. Everything's 100% Jewish on my CD. So if you want to take, I'm not going to have a chance to play all my music, but you can take it with you and you can share with other people and just bless the Lord all your soul. This is no because, you know, the Lord is restoring things. He restored Israel. He's restoring, you know, a lot of things because there was a lot of replacement theology. I don't know if you know what that is. I'll let Bruce explain that to you later. <laughs> Where they try to replace Israel with other stuff for the church, but the church is a product, but it's not a replacement. It, it's, it's, uh, if you look in uh, Romans 11, it talks about that, that Israel is the root, and we're the branch. So anyway, there's a big teaching on that, but I'll let Bruce <laughs> explain that to you if he hasn't already. But anyway, regardless, we're to be connected to that. But he's restoring all things. One thing he's restoring is the music. I believe that the music I play was from the time of King David, when he danced with all his heart before the Lord. It just brings that in you. It brings that out in you. It's just like... Just don't want to hold back. You just want to say, Lord, I just want to worship you and praise you. I don't care if I look crazy. I don't care. I just want to let you know that I'm loving you. I'm just appreciating you. I'm thanking you. Oh, Lord, thank you for, for saving me. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. And thank you for giving me a purpose in life. A purpose. He's giving you a purpose in life. Now, back while in the 60s, I don't know how many of you that that far I was, but uh, <laughs> there was a movie. <laughs> it's, it's, it's good for now, too, so don't worry about it. He's eternal. The same today, yesterday, and forever. But back then, he, there was a movie that came out. It was called uh, The Exodus. Hallelujah. That, it just showed when the Jews were able to return back to the land according to his promises. He's a promise keeper. He would never, you know, uh, turn, there's no shadow of turning with him. You know, he cannot lie. He will keep his promises. So that movie was a powerful movie showing and depicting all that. And there was a theme song was entitled, This Land is Mine. And that's what I've been trying to tell you this morning. He's giving you something special that is yours. In that movie, it was that he had given the Jews the promised land. But in, and that's for us too. But specifically in your life, there's something special he's given to you. 
And if you don't know what that is, seek him because he has given you something. And just be in prayer. You know, you mean, you have to fast. I don't know. Just, Lord, say, what, if, I, if you don't know what that is. But usually it's something that you like to do, something that, that blesses other people. And, you, and then just follow that because that's for you because sometimes people get entangled with other stuff, but that's not them, for them. Maybe you can do it, but there's a special call that he has in your life. And it's probably not going to be like anybody else because you know that you don't look like anybody else. Your, your DNA is totally different from somebody else's. You're special, so that calling will also be special too. So I'm going to play this song, and I'm just believe the Lord's going to just really minister to you. Just be blessed by the song. This land is mine. I have one thing I'd like to do. Let's all stand to our feet, guys, before we close. Do you have Hava Nagila on there? Oh, my goodness, yeah. I love Hava Nagila. Have the joy of the Lord. Rejoice in Him. Amen. Would you mind playing that for us for our last song? Sure. And then we're going to have a little time of prayer, and then we'll dismiss. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. No. And I want you all to stand up, because you all, even if you can't dance, at least you can maybe clap a hand or move a foot or... Yeah. Now, that, this, I have how I think it, but it's connected to another one that's really blessed also. It's called Edeni Shalom Aleichem. Now, Edeni Shalom Aleichem, the Lord's peace be with you. And he is the Prince of Peace. So it starts off with that, and it just goes right into Havanagila, and you're going to love it. So just don't hold back. Just receive his peace, his joy, 
everything he came to give you. Oh, man, I've got my dancers are really in sync today. Hallelujah. Here we go.